I am Alekia. I am pursuing my internship in Doctor of Pharmacy. Doctor of Pharmacy, it was introduced by Government of India and PCI in 2008. It was the first professional pre-PhD doctoral course. It was mainly introduced to improve clinical pharmacy services in India. Pharmacy course was introduced in India in 2008. The first batch of students have come the last year. So the main the intention of starting of the pharmacy course is previously there is a B-Pharma course which is more of industry oriented, less of clinical oriented course. So the pharmacy course is mainly clinical oriented course which is mainly related to hospital and then ward rounds and then patient counseling and talking about the community pharmacy, it is most of it is a hospital oriented course where the pharmacist involvement is more of clinical side. So already this course has been established in western countries long back but in India it is started in 2008 as a 6 years course of Pharmadi. So this course is equivalent to postgraduate course in medicine as well as other courses. So the three students are called as doctors of completion of this Pharmadi course. The course content is more of, in addition to the, some of the pharmacy B pharma subjects, community pharmacy, clinical pharmacy, pharmacotherapeutics, as well as other subjects, so that the students will acquaint with the drugs which are used in mainly in therapy. The concept of this pharma is, if it is implemented in the hospital, it will be, they are the, become a team of this clinician doctor, nurse and their pharmacist. So the treatment will be better because these pharmacy students are having better knowledge about the medicine and their side effects as well as other related drug drug interactions. So they can be a core team of the hospital drug regulatory committee. of introducing doctor of pharmacy program in India by the government is to improve the quality of care provided to the patients by the healthcare system. So what are the roles and responsibilities of a pharmacist to improve the quality of care provided to the patients? A pharmacist, he can assist the healthcare team as he has a broad knowledge about the medication management process. Pharmacists can participate in various medication providing processes such as prescribing dispensing and administering the drugs to the patients, interacting with the patients about the selection and use of OTC products and providing various consultations, interacting with the healthcare professionals in the medication providing process. The pharmacists can also participate in various patient care activities such as evaluating and assessing the medication related problems to a patient and adjusting the drug therapy to achieve desired therapeutic outcomes such as individualization of drug therapy. Pharmacists he is the best source of knowledge about the institution's medication use system so that he has a key role in formulating the hospital's drug formulary, educating various healthcare professionals about the various new drugs introduced and how we can effectively use. He has core knowledge of medications such as adverse effects due to the drugs, drug interactions, how a patient can minimize the cost of the drug, therapeutic drug monitoring of the drug providing patient counseling activities. He provides patient care on a 24 hour basis so that he can anticipate the potential unwanted effects due to drugs at any time in the hospital setting. And pharmacist has a role in managing institution's drug budget and plays a key role in managing the utilization of various resources related to drugs for cost effective and cost minimization of drugs. He is the best source of information about the use of investigational drugs, new medicines, since he is available in the hospital on a 24 hour basis, he can participate in the research activities, report ADRs to the regulatory authority and concerned pharmaceutical company. He can involve in various clinical trial activities related to the new drugs. Various roles and responsibilities of a doctor of pharmacy are medication adherence. It is a process which involves the pharmacist to ensure that patient is taking the medication as per the prescribed regimen. Medication adherence generally prefers how far the patient takes stick to the medication prescribed by the physician. A higher rate of the medication adherence is strongly linked to the good clinical outcomes. 
from the stats it has been shown that about 125000 people die every year as they are not taking their medication properly pharmacists play main role in establishing several clinical programs like patient counseling to monitor the medication adherence by improving the patient belief and their attitude towards the treatment prescribed by the physician lastly drugs don't work on people who don't take them properly therapeutic drug monitoring therapeutic drug monitoring involves monitoring the drug levels to be within the therapeutic range drug therapy monitoring is an ongoing process in which the pharmacist actually reviews the patient reports identify and resolve the drug therapy related problems like adverse drug events and communicate with the prescribers and the problems occur on the healthcare team the pharmacist is the key member who provides ongoing drug therapy monitoring pharmacists have the skill and knowledge to perform and embrace this role medication monitoring is optimized by a team approach that includes pharmacists the steps involved in the drug therapy monitoring are educate patients about the drug therapy potential adverse effects and actions to take if problems occur make patients active partners in their medication management and their own health decisions regularly assess patients drug therapy ensure that patients take their medications as prescribed proactively identify and resolve patient adverse drug events as they occur and assess the therapeutic effectiveness adjust the drug therapy as needed based on the information from the monitoring process therapeutic drug monitoring is used in two major situations like to assist the optimization of drug therapy including minimizing the risk of serious drug toxicity and assessment of the appropriateness of dosing for drugs used as a prophylactic therapy pharmacoeconomics pharmacoeconomics is a process through which a patient receives optimized drug use based on cost minimization india is growing and treatment in india is also growing rapidly now india is able to treat from allergy to cancer each and every disease is being treated in india but are our treatments cost effective to say no because there is always a low, low cost intervention or a low cost alternative but are our doctors and hospitals opting for that no when there is a intervention of pharmacists suggesting the generic drug cost effective interventions for the patient it would be easy for us to reduce the treatment cost and there is a greater part of gdp which is consuming major cost for treating many of the diseases and it is it is important for for a globally developing country to keep its treatment costs low and made it available to the people from poor to rich every class of the people and the cost effective and safe efficacious treatments are required to make the treatment rational and this is what require india requires and this is what our pharmacists do adr monitoring adr means any unintended or unwanted drug reaction which occurs after taking the drug which either for diagnosis or prophylaxis or as a therapy as a part of my internship program i provide patient care services like adr monitoring medication history interview patient counseling medication therapy management to the patient in various departments of inpatient hospital wards as a doctor of pharmacy intern i provide medical care at all times of the day and night so that i could easily anticipate the effects of any potential changes in the above steps or the entire 24 hours period as a pharmacist i am in direct collaboration with the patient and i have a broad knowledge of patient drug profiles in past medication history current drug therapy and concomitant diseases i can predict the likely effects of drugs on patients causing adverse drug reactions and what should a patient do when he observes any of the above the signs and symptoms first of all a patient should report to a physician about the signs and symptoms he noticed after taking the drug if a reaction occurs in an inpatient hospital setting the patient should immediately report to the pharmacist who is available at the bedside now as a doctor of pharmacy intern after i was reported by an adr i immediately analyzed whether the signs and symptoms are related to the drug or not my activities include managing the adverse drug reaction by changing the alternate drug therapy and withdrawal of drug which causes an adverse drug reaction and treating the adverse drug reaction if it was uh, considered to be serious or life threatening and documenting the adverse drug reaction for further evaluation reporting to the concerned pharmaceutical company or regulatory authority by doing all these activities as a pharmacist i decrease the economic burden on the patient improve the quality of life of the patient in some of the diseases like cancer 
and decreases the number of rehospitalizations due to the side effects and drug interactions drug information it is a center where a pharmacist doctor or any normal people can easily access information from the pharmacist according to the world health organization consensus there should be at least one doctor for every 600 people or at least the ratio should be 1 is to 1000 but unfortunately in india the doctor to patient ratio is 1 for every 1700 population this is the reason the doctors hardly don't ever get enough time to spend more time with the patients for selecting the therapeutic alternative at economic cost and also this is the reason behind the prescribing errors and also the reason behind the failure of medication adherence so this is where the clinical pharmacist role comes into big picture clinical pharmacist and the pharmacy practice staff organize the drug information center drug information center is a service established under the drug information service scheme which is organized and maintained by the pharmacy practice and clinical pharmacist staff that which comprises of more than 100 references from which the most current clinical update about the drug is sorted out and provided this is helpful for the doctors as well as the patients and common people also it helps the doctors to update themselves about the current clinical update of the drugs it helps the common people about the drug use and safety rational use of drug therapy rational use of drug therapy means cautious use of drugs to protect the five rights for optimized drug use rational drug use is defined as use of an appropriate efficacious safe and cost effective drug given for right indication at right dose and right formulation and at right intervals and for right duration of time uh, irrational drug use may lead to adverse drug reaction and unsafe treatment now i explain uh, what are our pharmacy stall in uh, rational drug use firstly drug procurement we follow the uh, strict inventory control and cost effective procurement and now secondly inventory control we also monitor the drug stock minimizing the out of stock by following the good inventory control we also verify drugs which do expiry date and keep the stock so that the patient would not turn away due to the unavailability of drugs coming to the information and education we interact with the healthcare professionals and inform about the introduction of new drugs and drug policy changes in the hospital and drug related problems and we also counsel the patients regarding the appropriate drug use and monitor the patient compliance we also promote the rational drug use by speaking to the community group and by organizing educational programs for the public and now pharmaceutical care we plan and individualize the drug therapy to achieve the specific outcome in consultation with the healthcare professional and patient we adopt an evidence based approach weighing the pros and cons of the treatment it is also responsibility of our pharmacy to monitor the treatment outcome and suggest the modification of treatment plan so these are the various pharmaceutical care services a pharmacist can provide and it is best to utilize a pharmacist in the hospital setting so that we can achieve better quality of life with less cost and also as a developing nation india has more need of a clinical pharmacist for better utilization of resources with respect to drugs and money there are many opportunities in a pharmacy sector which a pharmacy professional should grasp So all the pharmacy students are in an impression that uh, they have very less jobs. I just want to share so the opportunities which uh, I know uh, after completion of the six years uh, pharmacy. So first of all, I would say that it is not that the number of opportunities they have. It is the first thing should be a clear is how much seriousness you have in getting a job. There are opportunities actually, so you don't have to worry. So I just share the minimum things. the which i know so you can broadly divide into uh, either opportunities in abroad and opportunities in our country so opportunities in uh, abroad so it is said that you have to go and uh, complete your internship there so then you have to apply you can complete your naplex exam and uh, individual state examinations for the pharmacy the second thing is if, if i see either my friends or my colleagues or somebody else who have settled there most of them so they have been doing as a clinical pharmacist and community pharmacist in abroad if you take uh, arab countries or uh, something like that so there they have joined as pharmacists and community pharmacists so they have a good uh, salary paid and also they have exactly the core job where they have studied and also if you take in us there are uh, special pg diploma programs where you can uh, specialize in pharmacy and you can go to individual departments in the clinical pharmacy departments in the hospital 
so we can go for a, for example diabetic pharmacist or uh, in cardiovascular system we can go for specialization if it is an abroad and also there are things where uh, they have developed as consultants so you can go for pg diploma and consultancy in uh, therapeutic drug monitoring or consultancy in clinical pharmacokinetics which we have seen so that actually you have very high paid salaries and also you will have your satisfaction that it is your core job so either you can join as a pharmacist so you can uh, make your own consultancy or you can go for specialization into individual department after your pg diploma in abroad so coming to india actually it is in budding stage so you can see that almost uh, it took 20 25 years for the us to come to this stage so maybe it takes 5 or 6 years at least to get to into a minimum pay so you can concentrate now more on hospitals where at all the corporate hospitals have uh, opened a separate uh, pharmacy department in the hospital so you can uh, go for community pharmacy so and you can go for uh, so inpatient and outpatient pharmacy okay you can run your own inpatient outpatient pharmacy in the hospital okay or you can go for uh, either clinical pharmacy or hospital pharmacy okay in the hospital so which will be your core job coming out of your core jobs sometimes uh, you don't have to think always to find a job in an organization you can uh, try being an entrepreneur so in such cases you can start your own pharmacy in counseling centers maybe and uh, you can see in bangalore mysore and in and around uh, where mpharm pharmacy practice and pharmacy uh, students who have already passed out they have started uh, separate pharmacies for diabetes and some special pharmacy department so you can establish your own pharmacy with counseling center which will be innovative and uh, i'm sure such innovative ideas will bring or generate jobs you don't have to look for a job always most of the time all the students are in uh, an impression that farm b particularly have been developed only for opportunity to go to abroad so you don't have to think like that you can also be in the same country you can be in india and uh, you can try to develop jobs by your own so either in the clinical sector or uh, coming out of your core maybe in the pharmacy business where other uh, departments or other specializations will be competing for the same jobs or you can be an advocate maybe that will be good for you because it is an initial stage so you can start your own pharmacy you can make a change so you can see that pharmacies are not very patient centric now so you can start your own pharmacy you can make it patient centric give your service to safe and effective use of it so don't worry so your jobs are there so only thing i again say you is how serious you are in getting a job or a core job in your area so how the best Finally my conclusion is drugs won't work on people who don't take them properly and proper medication can be achieved with the help of a pharmacy graduate Ek pal to ab hame jeene do jeene do Chance I wanna grow up once again Give me some sunshine